for me, one of the most important things is if I get a battery for X capacity, I want to be able to use that whole X capacity. If you're pouring in 100% of your energy into this, you're only going to get maybe 70, 75% of that energy into the battery. These batteries, from what I've experienced, have some of the best power balance that I've ever seen. Ed Grimm here for Virion and Infinity Industrial Controls. Just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on batteries, a little bit of a basic primer on the topic of batteries for uh, folks that are trying to get their battery storage systems to work for them instead of against them. What you see here are lead acid batteries. These are 12 volts and we've got them series up so you got 48 volts in a pack. Any of these batteries, any of these lead acid batteries that you see here, the issue with them is that uh, they're low efficiency to begin with in terms of what you put into it so from your alternator from your wind turbine from any prime mover any kind of generator the energy that you're putting into it for example if you're pouring in 100 percent of your energy into this you're only going to get maybe 70 75 percent of that energy into the battery because of the battery's innate inefficiencies these are a variety of lithium early lithium batteries these have all the inherent risks that you've heard of in terms of lithium they did have a better what's known as the round trip efficiency there of your battery charging. You got a little more of what you created and pumped into it, a little bit more into the battery and a little bit more out of it as well. As said, these, the day has come and gone. These are designed to uh, operate in a rack system, as you can see. There's just a pair of them here right now. The key thing that you find with these is they have a key limitation, which is you can only operate them in parallel. They don't like series operation. Now there are some quote unquote super caps that you can run in series. There's not so many of those. These are 48 volts each. So you parallel them, it always stays 48 volts, 48, 50, 52, 53, something like that. What you find is that if you try to series them, you can get into real trouble. So you don't, you don't do anything that the manufacturer doesn't allow you to do. Those have evolved into what you see here. Super cap, um, again, the actual internal architecture or the internal Elements that are really used in there outside of the promotional data is a bit of a mystery, but these performed a little better than those. And these also still had the same limitation of being able to, not being able to be series. So you gotta keep them in parallel. And what you see here, these are from Energy Tech. And after years of working with these various batteries and various systems and encountering the limitations of them, we've come to uh, realize what really, really works. And these, as you can see, just by the cabling, you can tell these are running series. So you have basically a 500 volt battery stack here. These can be run up to a thousand volts in series and then paralleled out as much as you want for the major battery energy storage systems. And these batteries, from what I've experienced, have some of the best power balance that I've ever seen. Straight out of the box, it um, checked out at two decimal points of voltage. So that's, you know, like within a hundredth of a volt. So that's really, really speaks well to the quality control on the batteries. The uh, biggest point on these batteries is that you don't have any risk of thermal runaway whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about catching fire, burning your house down, burning down your equipment. The other side of that coin is that they don't have issues with freezing temperatures either. Because of the broad range, you don't have to waste a bunch of your battery energy storage system capacity on HVAC, on keeping them cool or keeping them hot. Most significant point that you'll find on these sodium batteries is that the depth of discharge exceeds anything else out there. So on a lithium pack, you'll find that you have uh, maybe 60% of the top of the capacity of that battery to work with. So from 100% down to 40%, it's usable. You go beyond that, you go below that, it's gonna give you trouble. It's gonna reduce its life expectancy. Uh, you'll get the uh, classic dendrite formation. You wanna buy a stack of batteries for the capacity of that battery. So if you're buying a stack like this, which has 50 kilowatt hours, you get that whole range of use so that's the big selling point on these, and that's why we're playing with them. So.
Better days are coming for battery tech. Thanks.